everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, which I'm sure word vomit. In today's video, which I am sure you can already tell by the title, I am doing a makeup tutorial using some of the products that I picked from my Beauty Bay Christmas wish list. So the Beauty Bay Christmas wish list will be a section on their website with um, products that I picked that I think would be a great idea for Christmas gifts or stuff that I want. If you do do, do do, if you do do. So if you do some shopping on Beauty Bay um, and pick up some gift ideas, please make sure to leave them down below. I love seeing what people are buying for people, if you know what I mean. Anything you need to know will be listed down below along with my Christmas wish list. Um, I'd like to thank Beauty Bay for working with me on this video. This is a collaboration. Thank you very much. So yeah, everything will be listed down below, anything you need to know, and anything that I don't mention, because I always forget to mention stuff, will all be listed in the description bottom box down there. Before we get into this, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already. I would truly, truly, really, really, really appreciate it. And if you would like to see how I created this look using products from my Beauty Bay Christmas wish list, say that fast three times, then please keep watching. It is actually like four million degrees in this room. The first product that I'm going to use that I put on my wish list is a Jeffree Star Cosmetics Lip Scrub. This is the Velour Lip Scrub in Orange Gummy Bear. This is just a rainy, sugary orange lip scrub. <laughs> I'm just going to put this on. I have a wipe here because I'm nowhere near a sink. Uh, as far as I know, these are edible as well. So I'm just going to scrub, scrub, scrub. It actually tastes like sweets. And then I'm just gonna wipe it off. Cause I'm not near a sink. In makeup you prep your skin so much, like with moisturizers and primers and all that jazz, um, I feel like you should treat your lips the exact same. Any products that you put on top of them, top of them? On top of them, on top of your lips, will just sit so much nicer if they are in good condition. But I wouldn't use a scrub every day, just cause I feel like you'd erode your lips away. Maybe just when they're Particularly dry in this weather. The next product then, oh, this t-shirt. Can we just, this is a Jeffree Star t-shirt. I'll show you now, hold on. This is a Jeffree Star t-shirt, look at it. Iconic. I fed into the merch is basically what happened. No, but really, the reason I picked a t-shirt as well is because I'm one of those people that I cannot get ready in my clothes. Uh, like, my day clothes, if you know what I mean. If I was going out, I couldn't get dressed and then sit down and do my makeup. I'm just far, far too messy. Um, so I like to have a handy t-shirt to throw on, to get ready, and not necessarily to be on wiping makeup brushes in, but just if anything does happen to it. It's not too sad, if you know what I mean. The next product then that I added to my wish list was the... Oh, there's a... Okay, we're just going to leave the dollar price on it. This is the Mario Bajescu Skin Care. Um, this is the facial spray and a lip balm. So this is like a two-part two set. It is, is, it is the Aloe Herbs and Rose Water Spray. And then I have lip balm. So it comes like this. There's actually like a little thing on top of it. I don't know if you're actually meant to hang that off a tree. But I added this. Thought it would be a nice little gift for someone to throw in. It's a real um, stock and filler. This is definitely a stock and filler. As well as the scrub. Anything small like that I always find are handy little stock and fillers to throw in. So I'm going to go in first with the lip balm. Um, especially after that scrub you want to add the moisture back in. I'm going to leave the balm on while we do all the rest of the skin and then when we come to lips I'm going to take it off just so it doesn't act as a barrier um, between my lip product and my actual lips. And now I'm going to take the facial spray with aloe, herbs and rose water. I'm just going to spray it first to get it going. Just to keep in with like the skin care prep kind of shenanigans. Um, I also added the So Su face oil. This is the luxury elixir. I am truly, truly obsessed with this. The smell is amazing. Again, like I was saying about the other small products is go are good as stock and fillers. I think this would be a great stock and filler as well. Or if you know anybody that loves a good moisturizing oil on the skin, highly, highly recommend this. So this is a 24 karat gold infused macadamia oil. oil. I put this on at night time before I go to bed and the smell is just amazing. It feels luxurious, like it feels nice on your skin. This is why I added this to the list. I was gonna add foundation to my Christmas wish list, but the only reason I didn't, and um, this is just from experience working on a makeup counter, foundation is probably one of the hardest things to buy somebody unless you know their exact shade 
and as well as that not even their exact shade like I would never match my foundation to my skin only because I wear so much fake tan um, so yeah from personal experience and personal preference I didn't add a foundation so I'm going to pop on a foundation off camera but before before I do that I have to do two things one is wet a beauty blender which is the bane of my life um, and two I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Frost. I'm going to pop this on under my foundation. Ew, has that been there the whole time? That's disgusting. Yeah, I'm going to go in with one of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, Liquid Frosts. The reason I'm going in with this under my foundation is because my foundation is quite tanned and I know this won't sit well over it just because of the colour. I picked this up in the shade Frostbite which is like a whitey shade. Yeah, so because this is a lighter shade, um, I'm afraid it won't sit well over my foundation. So I'm gonna pop this on as an illuminator under my foundation. Um, it's one of those little dropper things. This would be great if you know somebody who's genuinely just obsessed with Jeffree Star. Hi, me. Can you tell? Um, yeah, a nice present for somebody who's, who's obsessed with Jeffree Star. Not even that. Liquid highlighters, illuminators. Um, and I think it's just gonna be a really nice product, especially in the winter time where your skin can be looking a wee bit dry. Okay, so I'm gonna pop a little bit on the tips of my fingers. I'm just gonna rub them in. And, oh damn. I'm just gonna hit the whole, well, no, I'm gonna pop it everywhere, literally. Um, if you are new here and you don't know me, hi, my name is Ellie and I have skin like the Sahara Desert. So anything that's gonna make me look a little bit dewier is gonna be a great friend of mine. And now I'm looking like a Christmas ornament. There are chunkier bits of glitter in this, so if you're looking for something that's just going to illuminate the skin but keep it looking like skin, this isn't the product for you, just because it has those glittery bits in it. But because I'm going to pop a foundation on over top, I don't mind. So I'm going to go and wet my beauty blender, pop on my foundation, and then we will be back to check out what else is on my Christmas list. I found um, the Nabla Concealer and I am genuinely obsessed with this. This is the Nabla Close Up Concealer Stay Full Smooth. Oh, stay full smooth. I got the shade Porcelain. I also have the shade Peach, I think it is. This is just a concealer on a doe foot applicator. So I'm going to pop a little bit of that underneath my eyes. Forehead, nose, chin. And we'll do kind of like under the contour area to suck us right in. I'm going to take the Beauty Blender. This is the original Beauty Blender in purple. And that's what I'm going to use to blend this all together. So once everything is blended, and hopefully my camera isn't picking me up like an oompa loompa anymore, because I promise I'm not, I'm going to move on to brows. The reason I like to do my brows when my like foundation is still wet, when I haven't set my skin, is because I like to carve underneath my brows with a concealer. For my brows, did I lose it? No. For my brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is a skinny brow pencil in the shade Taupe. I've used this before in other shades and I absolutely love it. The reason I put this on my wish list is because Anastasia Beverly Hills is known, well in my eyes it's known for its brow products. It has some of the most amazing brow products in the entire world. So I feel if I was on the receiving end of getting a brow whiz for Christmas, I'd be happy. And I feel like it's a brand that you feel expensive using. Or else I just do. And um, So this is a double ended pencil. It comes with a spoolie on one side and then you have your pencil product on the other so I am gonna do my brows now speed you up because there's no need for your brows is boring I'm sorry brows is just boring so I'm gonna do that and then we will just keep going okie doke so brows are on at the beginning you saw me go in with the brow is in taupe I also went in with the brow definer in medium brown just towards the end of my brows just because I like them to have like a nice fade um, the little like glitter specks from the Jeffree Star Frost thing in Frosty um, is actually showing through my foundation which I didn't think would which I also don't mind I'm looking quite glowy but this is just to let you know before purchasing if this is something you know you won't like then you won't like it okay I don't think my camera has ever been so close to my face but can you see the little like Glitter bits. So sticking with skin, I like to set my skin and have my skin completely finished before I do my eyes. Would you believe me if I told you that all six skin products are glowy? So anything that I like to put on my skin, I like to give it like a glow. 
like that. Um, but I didn't intend on having all six products being glowy, so I'm going to pick and choose, but I'm going to show you all of what I put on my list. The first thing that I put on my list is the Be Perfect Golden Glow Body Shimmer. This stuff, like, rules my life. I couldn't go on a night out without using this. Um, personally, I, it comes with a little buffer inside it, but I like to take it literally just on a tanning mitt. And lather it basically from head to toe. This is a used and abused one. You can see how glowy it is. Load up my tanning mitt and rub it on my shoulders, collarbones, front of legs, from head to toe, you know, the drill. And you literally look like a glowing golden goddess. The next glowy product I picked up then is the Doll Light Duo. This is a highlighter duo in Shine Bright and Like a Diamond. This has the two pans of highlighters on the inside, Shine Bright and Like a Diamond. Shine Bright is one of my favourite highlighters ever. Um, I use it every single day. It's just the perfect golden beautifulness and that's why I love it. The fact that they come then in a little duo is amazing as well for a gift. The next product then is a glowy blush. This is the Milani Baked Blush. This isn't in Luminoso because I have Luminoso and um, that is like, I feel like it's like one of the most popular blushes on YouTube. But this, I got this in the shade Dolce Pink. The reason that I added this to my Christmas wish list is because I wanted to find something um, that's close to Nars Orgasm but on a much, much more realistic price point. Oh my God, we have three more highlights. What's wrong with me? Next then, I have an Illamasqua highlight. This is the Beyond Powder highlighter. I got this in the shade... I got this in the shade Electric. I have two of these already, um, and I wanted to try something a little bit different. So I know the kind of texture of them already. I just wanted to change up the color and like see what the other colors are like. So this is a little bit different for me, but I know... I might try this today. I feel like I'll love it. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but it has like a purpley kind of tinge to it. Um, so I'm really excited to try that. really, really, really love. The Illamasqua highlighters are beautiful. So again, if um, you're buying for like a makeup artist, if you are a makeup artist and you want to buy your own, your own self some Christmas goodies, Illamasqua highlighters are amazing. The next little highlighter that I have is the Ofra highlight. This is a little... A little small one, it's so cute. This is the famous Ofra highlight in Rodeo Drive. I'm not gonna lie, I have never used this, but I added it to my list because of how cute it is. Like, I'm sorry. Can you just... <laughs> Look how small it is. I nearly broke it. Look how small it is. It's adorable. And then lastly, I kind of got like a three in one product. I added this to the wish list because if you're a boy or a girl buying for your boyfriend or girlfriend who's into makeup but you're not really tuned into the makeup you don't really know what's what I get questions every year um, of people online being like uh, so my girlfriend or boyfriend is this this skin tone what do I buy them so if you're somebody who's not really like tuned into the makeup I feel like this would be a good gift because it's more or less three products in one this is the Kevin Aquan the Neo Setting Powder let me see how bougie this is comes in a little gold box it's in a velvet bag we take that out and it has like look at the color oh so this is the matte to glow set your makeup dial set your makeup dial up or down with the first ever three in one flexible setting powder use the matte side for a natural finish or a glow side for a radiant finish so like i was saying it's literally a three in one powder so you kind of pick and um, so i'm going to show you swatch it already now i don't know how well you can see that but this is the glowy side and this is the matte side so I think it's really cool because it's adjustable you get to decide how glowy you want it you're not necessarily getting one highlight and you're sticking with that because this has the matte side and then the glowy side you can like it says dial up or dial down how glowy you want it I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and go in with the Kevin Aquan powder but I'm gonna go in with the matte side to kind of set my foundation just I don't like anything too matte like I was saying earlier and I've said 400 times I have dry skin but I like to smooth over the foundation before I go in with bronzer just to make sure that the bronzer doesn't grab straight away onto the foundation I'm going to jump off camera really quickly set underneath my eyes with a loose powder and um, bronze and contour and then I'll be back to do blush and highlight I've just bronzed my skin ever so slightly I'm going to go in now with the Milani Baked Blush. You only need a tiny bit of these. I'm going to smile. That is the Milani Blush. You can see it gives a bit of a sheen. 
as well, which I really, really like. For a highlight then, I'm gonna use Rodeo Drive because I've never used it and it's small and adorable. Using a tiny brush to put on highlight. Packs a punch. Oh, good Jesus. Wow. This is like the perfect gold. Just to finish and set the skin and melt everything together, I'm gonna go back in with the Mario Badescu. Mario Badescu. 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 And I'm just gonna set all those powders in place. So while I'm fanning this and letting this dry and letting all the powders settle together, I'm gonna quickly do one eye off camera just to kind of speed the process up and to know what I'm doing. And then I will be back to finish with eyes and a lip. So I've done one eye off camera. Now I look crazy. The palette that I used for this eye look is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Thirsty Palette. So this is what the shades are like. So you have a roll of like, I wouldn't say shimmers, they're more like pressed kind of glitters. And then you have mattes and mattes. So on a fluffy brush, I'm taking the shade Stroke. And I'm just gonna start working that through my crease. I'm also gonna press this on the outer corner and the inner corner and kind of leave um, a gap in the middle where I wanna apply a shimmer. To blend that out, I'm taking the shade Kumquat on a smaller brush and this is just gonna kind of diffuse the edges. So my camera died because I'm the world's worst YouTuber. And um, so I'm gonna do a little run through of what I did on my eyes. In the Thirsty palette, the only shades that I used were Kumquat, Stroke and Plunge. For eyeliner and mascara, I used, I picked this set. This is the Stila Big Shot. Anyway, it's a little two set. You get your mascara and a felt tip black liner pen, so that's what I'd use. Again, great little gift idea, hence why I put that on my Christmas list. For a little tiny, tiny bit of black eyeliner in my waterline, just on the outside, and I also tight lined, I use, this is the Zoeva Graphic Eyes Black to Earth Eyeliner. This is so creamy, like so unbelievably creamy. If I was doing a really smoky eye, I'd pop this all over the lid and like blend it out and pack black shadow on top of it. Also, one of the products that I added onto my Christmas list, list which I didn't get to use. This is the Stila 3D Dazzle. I've used these in the past and they are amazing. This is the mini size, so you get three of the mini liquid eyeshadows. Um, I'm not sure actually what the shit, oh, Golden Girl, Perlina and Kitten Karma. And then lastly, to finish off my eyes, I don't know if you can tell, I hope you can. I popped a little bit of glitter on the inner corner of my eyes. For that, I used the Anastasia Loose Glitter. This is in Electric. Am I right? Yes, electric. But all I'm going to do to pop that on is take a tiny little bit of glitter, gl glitter glue, the glitter glue on a pencil brush, kind of pat it on my inner corner, and I'm going to pick up the loose glitter and just press that straight on top. It's so pretty. To wrap everything up, then I'm going to finish off with a lip. For a lip, for the Christmas list, I popped on none other than. My lip kit with Be Perfect Cosmetics. Um, for the Christmas list, I picked the shade Cheeky, which is a beautiful red for Christmas time. It's more on the like, orangey red tones, tones side. More on the orangey red side, just to make it a little bit different and give it a little bit of a, a kick for Christmas. Um, but for today, I'm gonna pop on Boo, which is my nude shade, just to kind of go with this look, because what else would I do other than a warm eye and a nude lip? And I'll be back to you in two seconds just to wrap everything up. Also, really quickly, I forgot to mention that the lashes I am wearing are from Doll Beauty. They are in the shade Danielle. They are possibly one of my... No, I think they actually are my favourite lashes in the whole entire world. So this is the finished look and the finished video using all my products that I picked for my Beauty Bay Christmas wish list. Everything will be linked down below. My Christmas wish list, any other information that I missed and didn't say because I always do that. And I hope this video gave you some sort of ideas on little Christmas gifts if you were stuck on anything. I know I gave you a lot of ideas for stocking fillers and like little Chris Kindles so hopefully that helped you out. I'd like to thank Beauty Bay once again for working with me. I always love working with you. Any questions, comments, concerns? leave them all down below. Um, be sure to leave me a comment if you pick up anything off Beauty Bay that you'll recommend somebody else picking up for a Christmas gift. I love being nosy and see what other people are buying for people because I'm not the best Christmas shopper, like, 
I'm the person, what you want, yeah, okay, I'll get it, you know? Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, it helps me out a lot. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye!